Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Late Night Football. Today, we are talking about how the Denver Broncos win the 2024 NFL Draft. Seven rounds for you guys today. Let's dive straight into this thing and waste no time. The Broncos pick at 12, and they need a quarterback. That is the overarching issue that we know of, but we got people that are competing for that spot, aka the Vikings, the Raiders potentially, and even the Saints. Lots of competition to get a good QB. Who's going to get there first? How are they going to make it happen? Before we get into trade scenarios, let's review draft capital because that is what is important. The Minnesota Vikings have pick 11 and 23. That is some juicy capital that I guarantee you one of these teams right here, the Cardinals, the Chargers, will be willing to take that more likely than our capital because let's take a look. We got the 12, the 76. We don't have a second rounder. Kind of important. We have a lot of 100 overall picks, but we don't have anything really below that is what I'm saying. We don't have high draft capital like the Vikings do, and that's why they made that move earlier in the offseason. So let's see what we can do above all and what falls to us on the board at 12 and if we could trade up if there's a possibility there. So let's start this draft. Let's go one by one. Caleb, May. We got, we got to slow this down. May goes second. Who goes third? Marvin. Okay. Malik. Caleb went first, May went second, and then it was Marvin and Neighbors. That means the Heisman himself has not gone. Now, do we think the Heisman and Sean Payton would mesh well? That's my question, and I don't see him trading up for Jaden Daniels. I don't think they're going to click quite together. Let's see how the board falls to us. While I am making all the picks today and being the executive decision maker, I don't want to give my coach a quarterback that he would clash heads with, so we're going to avoid this and see what falls to us at our pick. That is why I'm not trading up, just so you guys know. Let's let it run. Who goes? Rome? I'm guessing Daniels goes here. McCarthy ahead of Daniels? This is insane. Okay, let's just go all the way to our pick. Denver fans, we are on the clock, and guys... This is not how it will go down on draft day. We're not having McCarthy go before the Heisman and the Heisman fall all the way to 11. We know that. But the point is, we're on the clock. What do we want to do here? So we're in a scenario. We need a quarterback, but we also need to make sure the quarterback stepping into this team feels comfortable and he's surrounded with talent because that is, above all, the most important thing whenever you get a new QB in the building. So let's take a look. We got Bo Nix and Michael Penix Jr. They're left here, but the two guys behind us, they want a QB? and they want a QB. We do not have a second round pick. I am a true believer in, we have to stack talent on this team before we bring in our QB. It's just logic, it makes sense. So, let's see who wants to trade with us. We got the Seahawks at 16, not bad. Bengals, Carolina. We know Carolina likes to forfeit a ton of picks to trade up. And I would be willing to trade out of the first round if they gave me this, this, um, Throw me 65. You're not liking that as much. We'll throw you 147. I'm going to force this trade. The Panthers sent us 33, 39, 65, and we are sending 12 and 147. And I like this a lot. I don't know if this is even on the stat sheet, but we're going to make it happen. We're forcing this trade. We're going all the way back and picking at 33 overall. I will see you guys there. We are back on the clock, Broncos fans. And there's a reason I traded the 33 and not any farther. Look at that. We are right in front of of the Bo Nix wanting Patriots. They got Marvin Harrison Jr., and now you know they want to take Bo Nix here. That's why we did it. We did it on purpose. Bo Nix, you are a Denver Bronco. Welcome to the team. Him and Sean Payton are going to mesh very nicely, and we pick again in about five picks, and we're going to get hopefully a very good wideout. Let's see how this thing rolls out. We are back on the clock six picks later. What do we want to do here? We need a center. We need a wideout. We need an edge. We need a corner. The value is just everywhere. There's a center. There's a corner. There's a receiver and plenty of edge prospects to come. Now, with the talent, I know it's on the board. Receiver, I think if we wait on receiver, that'll work out to our advantage with the amount of depth in this class. So let's shift gears. Let's take the best prospect on the board. That is either going to be Chop Robinson out of Penn State. This dude's just an athletic freak. Or these top two. We got Zach Frazier or TJ Tampa. We just got a quarterback. We need to protect our quarterback. That is the most important thing here. Zach Frazier is going to be our brand new center for the Denver Broncos, and I'll see you guys at pick 65 overall. Broncos fans, we have got our QB. We have our center. We need to fill these positions. We know that. We just traded away Judy, so I'm going to lock up a wideout right here. We need him bad. I told you we would punt the position all the way to pick 65, the first pick of the third round, and we're definitely going to take one right here. Devontae Walker, Javon Baker. I like Jalen too, but I like these guys more. Let's go with Javon Baker out of UCF. I think he'll fit that team very, very well. And hopefully, hopefully, some of these good players fall to us back at 76 overall. Just 11 picks later in the third round, 
we're back on the clock. And some really good players went by. We lost Devontae Walker. We didn't get Haynes. We didn't need Haynes anyways. We got a guard. But Trice did go. You know I like Braylon Trice. He went off the board. It's a damn shame because I wanted him for our edge position. But we will make do. Now, we don't pick again for a minute. About 50 picks later, as you all can see, not till day three. So what do we want to do here? Let me show you the situation for edge and corner as those are our two biggest gaps on this team left. Corner, it's a drop-off here pretty soon. As you can see, we'll be picking around here next time we're up. I like Green. I like Jones. I like Phillips. Very good corners on the board. For edge, let's take a peek. At edge, we have Murphy. Insane value. like that a lot. We could get Solomon or Justin at 121. With that being said, I like these prospects more than the other Tier 2, or I guess Tier 5, 6 of cornerback prospects. Let's take a corner here. I like Phillips a ton. I like Green a ton. Let's go with Phillips on the board and fill that position of need for the cornerback group. Back on the clock, and guys, what we wanted to happen, it happened, baby. We wanted Justin or a good edge prospect to slide to us all the way here at 121, but you cannot forget Muhammad Kamara out of Colorado State. He's not the biggest dude, but this guy gets after the passer. He is damn good at what he does. These are both great prospects, and let's go with Mo Kamara. I like him just a little bit more than Justin. Very, very good prospect, and we pick again in about 10 picks. Let's make it happen. Let's do this thing. Back on the clock, and the Broncos are going to make a very nice pick right here. We pick at 136, 145, and 203, and 207. So we got four picks left. Let's review what we've taken so far. I think that's important to look at. So we were in the first round. We were here at 12. We decided to trade back with the Panthers, and it worked out to our advantage. A guy I was trying to take at that position, we traded back and got a bunch of assets. We got Bo Nix at the top of the second round. Then we filled our center need in Zach Frazier. Love those back-to-back -back picks for the Panthers right there. That's why we stole them right from them. Now, our next pick, Javon Baker, the wideout out of UCF. On to our next pick, which was Andrew Phillip, the cornerback out of Kentucky. Next, we took Mo Kamara out of Colorado State. And here we are, the very top of the fifth round. What do we want to do here? I was scanning across here. There's a player that had a good 2022 season, but not the best 2023. He's good in press. I think Josh Newton has got tons of potential. Look at... Look at this evil drop-off. At one point, he was going to be the dude. Stuff changed as the season went on. We know the potential's there. We already got one, but let's get another. Josh Noon, welcome to the squad. I will see you guys in 10 more picks at 145. We are in the late rounds of day three. Do you know what that means? We're taking value. We cannot fill needs with day three picks. Eventually down the road you can, but most of the time these guys are very developmental. Rarely you hit on a day three pick immediately out the gate, but let's see what we can do here. Will Shipley, Ben Sinnott. Gray, there is one that catches my eye, especially for development. Mason Smith, coming out of high school, was a five-star prospect. This dude, in 6'6", 315. Absolutely insane. He never quite developed in what he was supposed to be, but a good coach, and I trust my coaching staff. I trust the Broncos coaching staff, right? A good coach can make this guy an absolute phenomenal player. And I trust our coaching staff to make Mason Smith that dude and a great pick late on day three, onto our team. Mason Smith, welcome to the squad. I'll see you guys at the pick 203. We got two picks that are basically back-to-back, -back, 203, 207. Let's wrap this draft up. Anthony Gold, we need more wideouts, and I think that's what we're going to take here. Yeah, yeah, we're doing it. We're going Anthony Gold, and let's go to our next pick here at 207. Who do we want to take here? A couple guys went off the board. There goes Frank Gore Jr., Hopper, and Brennan Jackson. Where is the value across this board? I'm going to go with... There's Jalen Ford, Coker. Let's go with Julian Pearl out of Illinois. Let's get another tackle in that O-line room and let this guy develop over time. Broncos fans, this is my mock draft. Let's review, baby. So, in the first round, we decided we don't want to take Bo Nix here. We can get the value we want because we don't have a second rounder this year. Let's go get two second rounders back to back at the top of the second round, may I add, and just dominate this draft. We trade back with the Panthers. We leave 12. We send them 147 as well. We get 33, 39, and 65. What a move. With that, we begin to build our core. Bo Nix at the top of the second round. We got our quarterback. Zach Frazier, arguably the best center in this draft. Javon Baker, a killer wideout prospect. Phillips at corner. Muhammad Kamara at edge. Josh Newton at cornerback. Mason Smith at a tier D line. Anthony Gold at wideout. And Julian Pearl at at tackle. What did you think? What would you change? Would you take Bo Nix? Would you trade out of the first round? I want to hear all criticisms and all thoughts down below. If you watched this far in the video, 
and you enjoyed it, please drop a like because it helps me out tremendously with all these videos I'm making. And if you enjoyed this format of the video, where we do a mock draft for the whole team, a whole seven round shebang, I'm making a mock draft for every single team in the league. So if you enjoyed this kind of video, go subscribe below. And if you subscribed and if you liked the video and you were just a super fan, we have a brand new Patreon, not here, but here. We got two Patreons in our all pro tier. Thank you, Cisco. Thank you, David. They get an additional weekly video per week and access to our Q&A sessions. And then at our MVP tier, mom is holding it down. She gets full access to our rookie draft guide. You get five draft day tips and a bonus tip, tier-based rankings for quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and tight end. And of course, a one-pager cheat sheet. So on draft day, you are marking these guys off as the draft goes by and you're going to dominate your rookie draft for Dynasty Fantasy Football. Thank you guys for spending your time with me on this 7-round mock draft video for the Denver Broncos. Appreciate you guys more than you know. Love y'all. Have the best day. Peace. Now listen up, y'all. It is time for the 2024 NFL Draft Wide Receiver Tier List. And this is the first time I have ever had, I mean ever, had two players in my God Tier. Let's get it started. Introducing my two players in my God Tier. Y'all know their names. Say it with me. Marvin Harrison Jr. out of OSU and Malik Neighbors out of Bellas.